Talk of sovereign authority over the border poses a unique legal battle, one that's not too far a stretch from the debate between states' rights versus federal oversight. And Governor Greg Abbott seems poised to make this Department of Justice lawsuit over his border security initiatives decided ultimately by the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. Constitution doesn't really address border security in this sense, only that the federal government shall protect the states against invasion. So much of the precedent on border security comes down to Supreme Court decision. Even five years ago, I would say that the governor's argument is just unequivocal nonsense. But we have a remarkable Supreme Court right now. And with the Supreme Court's rightward shift in justices, it's not out of the question that they would revisit past decisions, including most recently, just over a decade ago, Arizona versus the United States. In that case, the Supreme Court largely sided with the federal government, not the states, when it comes to border security. Governor Greg Abbott's uh, hostility towards the federal government is really a large part of his political identity. And so this is really a continuation of a political profile that, that he trailed or trailblazed you know, a number of years ago, but that now feels to be just sort of a regular part of, of the Texas political routine. So determining sovereign authority could be up to the Supreme Court, just as several Republicans have called for. I believe that the constitutional right of the state of Texas to secure our border and to defend our sovereignty supersedes uh, any statute. We asked, is that true? Do you think that this case with the buoys in the Rio Grande is going to be the case that Republicans wanted? It could. I mean, why not? The first test for how far this case will go is an injunction, which the Department of Justice has asked for. If that's granted, that would require the state to remove those border buoys until a final legal decision is made. But the state would largely appeal those decisions all the way up to the Supreme Court, which then could indicate where this case goes from there. From outside the Texas State Capitol, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.